All right, so now we're going to look at covariance and correlation. And to start our understanding with covariance and correlation, I'm just going to come to chat GBT. And can you please uh, explain to me in very simple terms covariance and correlation in statistics? And please also include a very simple example. Uh, I know, I know, thank you. We'll say thank you. I was going to say, I know that this can be a little bit complicated but whatever, we'll just go with that. We asked for it to be simple. Let's see what it pumps out. I'm gonna pause this for a second Why? well, here it goes. Covariation, covariance and correlation in simple terms. So just like at the simplest terms, like if you look up correlated, correlate, correlation, correlation, we'll look up correlation, okay? And correlation, define, 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 we'll see what correlation is. Uh, a mutual relationship or connection between two or more things. The process of establishing a relationship or connection between two or more things, uh, in interdependence of variable quantities, uh, cor and we'll, we'll look up correlated. We'll see what correlated means. And have mutual relationship or connection in which one thing affects or depends on another. The study found that success in educational system correlates highly with class. Establish a mutual relationship or connection between. We should correlate general trends in public opinion with trends in the content of television news. Um, you know, so we want to establish that there's some relationship or connection between stuff, like between uh, television news and public opinion, right? Um, and so correlation is just looking to see like how is are, are pieces of data connected? Do they move in similar ways, opposite ways? How are, how are they related to each other? That's correlation. And you might use that like in a sentence, like, are those two things correlated or, you know, they're, they're uh, negatively correlated, right? You might say, well, those are negatively correlated. So an example of a positive correlation, and we saw this a little bit when we did scatter diagrams. And so we looked at the relationship between data. So scatter diagrams would have been in chapter three. And chapter three, I believe, was, um, uh, no, that would be numeric descriptive statistics. So scatter diagrams would have been in chapter two. And so I'm just looking here to see if I if we have a scatter diagram. So here is a positive relationship, right, between whatever the data x is and whatever y is. And when we looked at um, we looked at Gapminder.org, we saw both the 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 wealth was on the x-axis and health was on the the y-axis. Your your how your your expected life and GDP per capita. GDP per capita wealth was down here. And uh, life expectancy here was here. So we had uh, wealth down here and health here. And that there was a positive relationship between those. And so the wealthier you were, the longer you were expected to live. So more wealth equals more health. And, uh, and the poorer you were, the, the less you were expected to live. And so we'd say there's a positive relationship, a positive correlation between those two pieces of data, bivariate, two pieces of data, bivariable, right? Uh, and that would have a positive relationship. Here's a negative relationship. So if this was life expectancy and this was smoking, <laughs> right? The more you smoke, the lower your, your life expectancy. Here's a negative correlation between these bivariate, uh, this bivariate data, the distribution, bivariate probability distribution. I don't know what you, how you'd say that, but I'm just trying to use that new new phrase, bivariate, but there's a negative correlation here. And then we'd say there's no correlation here. It's just scattered, right? Like, you know, no correlation. So that's uh, that's kind of like what co correlation is. Let's see what ChatGPT said. So come here to chat and covariance is a measure of how, well, let's look at co correlation first. Correlation is a standard version of covariance. It tells you not just how two variables move together, but also how strong that relationship is. Correlation is always between negative one and one, right? And so that really kind of jibes with what we saw here when we were doing these scatter diagrams. Uh, you know, it's just showing how, how much are the, is the data related. And covariance, sorry, correlation is always between negative one and one, so it's standardized. Covariance is gonna be at some other scale, which could sometimes be, you know, like, 12,962 or negative 4,205. And you're just like, I don't know what that scale means. Uh, that was what covariance will give you. And correlation takes that and gets it into a scale that's between negative one and one. So you could kind of really wrap your head 
around how strongly is it positively correlated? Man, it's almost next to one. Or how strongly is it negatively correlated? Man, it's almost next to negative one. Or it's like really close to zero, you'd say there's no really correlation, no real, real relationship between the data. That's correlation and that's covariance. So covariance is a measure of how two variables change together. If one variable tends to increase when the other increases, the covariance is positive. If one variable tends to increase when the other decreases, right? So, uh, you know, increasing smoking uh, decreases life expectancy. Covariance is negative. Imagine you have two friends, Alice and Bob. You track how many hours each spends studying and their test scores. If on days when Al, Al studies more, Bob also tends to study more, their study hours have a positive covariance. If on days when Al studies more, Bob tends to study less, the study hours have a negative covariance. And interestingly, we are influenced by the people around us. And so the number one predictor of creating new entrepreneurs is whether or not new individuals are around other entrepreneurs. And if you're around other entrepreneurs and people who are starting businesses and hustling, uh, that's gonna you know, motivate you to try doing the same. And so um, that's just the data, a piece of data that comes to mind for me that I learned somewhere. But there's a positive covariance between uh, you know, people being inspired to be entrepreneurs if they're around people who are entrepreneurs. Um, correlation, we already talked about that. <clears throat> and, uh, and here's a description of that. And a simple example of numbers. Al studies two hours, Bob studies three. Al studies four, Bob studies five. Al studies six, Bob studies seven. So here we can see two to three, four to five, six to seven. Uh, when Alice goes up, Bob goes up, right? And so we, you know, just looking at that data, we know that there's gonna be a positive covariance and a positive correlation there when Alice's study hours go up, so do Bob's. So maybe they are married, uh, maybe they're roommates, and their, their behaviors are, in, Alice, Alice's behavior of studying is influencing Bob. So maybe she's the one that starts studying, and Bob's like, all right, she's studying, I'll, I'll study too. Um, and so to calculate the covariance, I don't know if it doesn't look like there's any math here, but notice when Alice studies more, Bob studies more. Uh, this shows they have a positive covariance. The exact covariance would be calculated by seeing how much they both differ from their averages and multiplying those differences. So exact covariance calculated by seeing how much they differ from their averages and multiplying those differences. So, you know, when we were calculating variance or standard deviation and, you know, doing that for probability, we were doing that by uh, adding stuff up, right? So here, uh, we did that for uh, bivariate data, so bivariate discrete probability distribution. And we found out here's the number of cars that the business which owns both Saratoga and the Geneva dealerships. Here's our random variable. Here's the probability of getting each of those variables. Here's our expected value or our mean. And then over here we found the difference between each data point and we subtracted the mean from it. We got this and then we squared it and then we uh, multiplied it by the probability and added all those up and we got our variance and so we added all those up to get our variance right in a in a bivariate discrete probability distribution we added them up and then here what we're seeing is that covariance calculated by seeing how much they differ from the averages the average the mean the expected value and then multiplying those differences right so for both alice and bob we would find their mean for each data point, we would like, I'm just thinking here, and you know, we would take each data point and subtract the mean, and, uh, and then you know, how much they both differ from their averages, and then multiply those differences, so something like that. But in this simple example, you can just see that as Al studies more, Bob does too, so covariance is possible. And then correlation, if you find it's a one because their study hours are perfectly aligned, uh, oh, you, if you calculate the correlation, you find it's one because they're aligned. When Alice increases her study, so does Bob. Uh, so covariance tells you whether two things move together, positive or in opposite directions, negative. And correlation tells you how strong that relationship is on a scale from negative one to one. And that's covariance and correlation. And we're gonna stop this video here because you just got some concepts and they were great and they were clear, never been clear, it's never been better, this is as clear as it's ever been, nobody's ever explained it better, you understand it better than you've understood it now Now that you've watched this video, there's never been a better video, I'm just making a joke. And uh, 
So now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, go get a drink of water or go do some sit-ups or push-ups or do some jumping jacks and then come back and watch the next video and we're going to jump into how our textbook explains it.